He Doan. The entire western United States has come under the grip of sweltering heat wave, which began last week. Nearly 75 million people are under heat alerts, and the temperature records are tumbling. The worst affected is California, where at least a dozen cities broke all-time high temperature records. Palmer Springs in Southern California touched a record-breaking high of 51.11 degrees Celsius. The scorching temperatures and dry conditions are a result of heat dome centered over California. But why do Canada and Western US face extremely high temperatures? Is this linked with the climate changes? Let's know the reason for this unusual phenomena in this episode. Summers are hot and sometimes they become dangerously hot. When that happens, then it is called a heat wave. Technically speaking, a heat wave is an extended period of unusually hot temperature and often high humidity that typically lasts two or more days. To be considered a heat wave, the temperature have to be hotter than the historical averages for a given area. But what is causing a heat wave in the US and Canada? The cause is a heat dome. A heat dome occurs when the atmosphere traps hot ocean air like a lid or cap. But what triggers the formation of heat dome? To understand it, don't just skip a second of this video and watch till the end. Let's begin from the start. The heat from the sun reaches the earth and it warms the ocean, land and air. When the ocean warms, it releases its heat into the atmosphere and heats up the air above it. Now this hot air above the oceans rises upwards. That's because the molecules of hot air have more energy and they move apart. So the hot air expands. This makes the hot air less dense and hence of low pressure than the surrounding matter. This makes it float upwards. Now let's fly to the Pacific and understand the situation there. During normal summers in the Pacific, the water of the Eastern Pacific heats up. This heated or warm water shifts toward the west with the help of trade winds. Trade winds are the winds that blow west along the equator. To replace that warm water in the east, cold water rises from the depths. This shift makes the Western Pacific warmer than the Eastern Pacific. Sometimes the trade winds are stronger than usual and then they take more warm water towards the west. When this happens, more cool water takes its place and this change is known as La Nina. When all this is happening, there is a stream of wind blowing towards the east in the upper atmosphere and this stream is known as the jet stream. During La Nina, the jet stream changes its direction and shifts northwards. In the past few decades, the Western Pacific Ocean has warmed up more than the Eastern Pacific. This has created a stronger pressure difference between the West and the East. This causes more air to warm in the Western Pacific and decrease less warming of the air in the Central and Eastern part. Now the hot air in the West rises up. When the air rises, there are prevailing winds waiting for them. These winds take the warm air from West to East making the western US and Canada warm now. This warm air should disperse and rise up, but that doesn't happen. As we talked about the shifting of the jet stream towards the north due to La Nina, this jet stream now becomes a lid and blocks the warm air from going up. The jet stream is cool and is of high pressure and reflects back the hot air causing it to sink. This hot air warms further, causing devastating conditions. The effects include devastating heat for humans, animals and trees. But the good news is, the heat dome lasts only for days or a week. But how is it linked with the climate change? In the past few decades, climate change has caused the rise in the Western Pacific's temperature and has caused La Nina quite frequently. This has disturbed the summers of Western America and affected so many lives. Heat waves have been a regular phenomenon on land. However, global warming has caused them to be hotter with a longer duration and an increased frequency. 
That's all in this episode. If you have any suggestions, request on what topics you want to watch a video, do write us in the comment box and don't forget to share the video.